Well, here you go. Just a few matches in standard and the dumb Spiro Spiro mission is complete. We're able to complete all these tasks pretty easily. So let's go check out the South Carolina. All right, here it is. Let's check out the South Carolina. Let's see what I have over here on the Arkansas. Ooh, Willis Lee. That has been quite a while ago since I played the Arkansas last. But let's uh, check out the commander. I believe the commander is going to be William Sims. That is my battleship commander. There's no reason to change from that. And inspirations are Andrew Cunningham, Concentrated Devastation, and Robert Jujard Borer. And this helps out the uh, accuracy and penetration of the armor piercing shells. And Flammable Cannoneer is the first skill. Gyrating Drill Bits helps out the traverse speed and the AP shell damage and then marksmanship for the accuracy deal and then reaching out XXL and will to rebuild so we are doing everything we can to enhance the accuracy and main gun potential of our American battleships here so let's go to the upgrades and see what we have for upgrades being tier 3 shouldn't be all that expensive I wouldn't think secondary battery mod 2 or main battery mod 2 I will go with the main battery mod 2 next one is steering gears or propulsion mod it did say that the ship was really slow so before we change this though let's see what we get with the stats here on the speed 14.3 knots with William Sims my main battleship commander so this is pretty brutal right here and the skill that really reduces that is let me see I think it's gyrating drill that cuts the maximum speed down by a 10 percent all right so with William Sims you do really lose a lot of speed on your battleship but the it may make up for it in accuracy Let's see what the range is 14.4 kilometers with William Sims Let's see what the range is with Willis Lee. Eleven point seven kilometer range with Willis Lee, but you do get a faster battleship. So I think I'm gonna go with William Sims here and just deal with the slower battleship. And we will uh, go ahead and do the propulsion mod two and target acquisition system mod one this is a little bit costly here because of this two million credits but okay and let me see the next one is the artillery plotting room main battery reload time dispersion of the main battery Let's see how we're doing on reload time 31 seconds I guess I will go with The artillery plotting room. All right, well, as long as we have a South Carolina, let's go back into the Broad Stripes and Bright Stars project and switch around the ships here. So, yeah, so I think, uh, let me see here. You have six hours and 34 minutes until completion with these two ships. Let's go in here and see what happens when we select the South Carolina. You can see the boost here changes from three seconds to five seconds by selecting the South Carolina and it goes down to five hours and 46 seconds so it kind of looked like it was a little less than one hour change there by making that switcheroo. So yeah if you have the South Carolina you might as well go ahead and put it in the Broad Stripes and Bright Stars Bureau Project and See how many camos you can get, even if you don't have the black or the independence. And that will do it for the dumb Spiro Spiro personal mission. Good luck to you. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it.